Hello, welcome back to Call Clutter Fairy, where I help you get clutter free so that you can live stress free. My name's Noreen, I'm a professional organizer and owner of Call Clutter Fairy. Today I want to talk to you about storage containers. All too often I come across clients who were so excited and committed to getting organized. So they drive to their local Target or Walmart, they go up and down the container aisles and they see a container and think, oh, I like that container, it's affordable, I will buy it and it will help me get organized. The problem with that thinking is without knowing exactly what your needs are, you're going to be trying to make your things fit into the container instead of buying something that will fit your needs and allowing it to help you stay organized. Early on in my series, I always talked about setting the timer for 10 minutes. What this does is it really helps you focus on the task at hand. The first thing you need to do is pick the section that you're going to be organizing and break it down into categories. You can't go shopping until you know exactly what you need to have organized. Once you've got your categories broken down, you're going to buy containers that match the size of that pile. So if you have teeny tiny things, then you're going to be looking for small containers. So if I'm tackling a junk drawer, I'm going to set that timer pull everything out and separate everything into categories. When I arrive at a client's job, I have a couple of my go-to storage containers with me at all times. Those are shoe boxes, and I have a bunch of containers of varying sizes with lids on them, and then I always have open containers. This allows me to tackle drawers, cabinets, and larger storage areas. So let me take you through some of those containers that I use on a constant basis. So once you have it broken down into the piles and you know you have a few small piles and some larger ones, that's when you can go to your local store and start picking out small containers to fit your needs. So if you want them in a drawer and you have easy access to them, that's when you can look at small dividers. Now, the Dollar Tree is a wealth for these types of containers. These are similar to the Rubbermaid brand with the rubber feet so they don't slide around in your drawer and it has a rubber bottom. The Rubbermaid brand are anywhere from six to $10 a piece depending upon the size. These are a steal at only a dollar a piece. They also have many sizes and they nest inside so you can really customize them to whatever your needs are. So in a drawer, for example, if you have small space, these will match the same size. You can break them down into whatever configuration. You guys, these are my go-to when I'm organizing drawers or I'm doing a bathroom. I love these. I even use these in the kitchen because they're the perfect size for tea bags or little snacks that can go inside. The last one of those style that I wanna show you is this bigger this is great when you have lots of little notepads or again, those snacks. So check your Dollar Tree. I'm not sponsored by them, but if you don't have a Dollar Tree in your area, you can go online to dollartree.com, look these up and even have them shipped to your house. They used to have it in quantities of 12, but now they've even changed that. So you can just order what you need. This little container I'm about to show you right now is my absolute favorite. If you've never seen these at your local Dollar Tree, it's probably because I showed up and bought every single one they have. This is my absolute go-to for all of my jobs. They have other colors, but I always get the white ones. But especially right now that it's coming into spring, they have all kinds of pastels. In the um, back to school time, they have all these wonderful primary colors. And again, you can go online to the dollartree.com and find out what they have and order them in bulk. But these are great because they fit on just about every shelf. Most standard kitchen cabinets, these fit inside. So if you have a pantry that's needing organization, this is fantastic for your bin foods, for your boxed items, for small snacks. I use these in bathrooms to roll up towels in, to corral all of your toiletries and hair products. In kids' rooms, these are a must. Even for just rolling up their pajamas and small clothes, 
their toys, their stuffed animals, in a nursery for diapers. I can't think of a room where I have not used these. So if you get to the Dollar Tree and you see these before I do, snag them. They are a must for organizing. One of the last containers that I like to use on a consistent basis are these small drawers. And the reason I like these is they are usually stackable. So they nest in with each other so that they're sturdy. I like that. But what I like more is they're broken into sections. So if I only needed four drawers, I could break this up and have four drawers and then have two others that I could use someplace else. The other thing I like about these is they don't come out automatically. Now, I can take them out by just squeezing the sides and then it slides, but a lot of these small container um, stacking drawers, they don't have that stopper on it. So what that means is I go to pull something out to get and I pull too far or the weight of it and now it's smashed all over the floor and I have a big mess to clean up. So I like that it stays unless I want it to come out. Oftentimes I will use this for my crafting. I could take this over to wherever I'm working on my project, have the things at the ready and then put it away afterwards. The other thing that I like about this and this is going back to those small containers we talked about earlier is those small Dollar Tree bins fit right inside so that I can really customize what I need in this drawer and it fits inside. I love this option. So again, break down what you have in your categories and then once you know it's small items, medium sizes, large items, you can go ahead and find containers and the quantity of containers based on the categories you have. If you do want closing containers, these little shoe boxes are a great option for you. They are a little bit bigger, so if you need something smaller, I would look at food storage that stacks, but for your general everyday smaller categories, shoe boxes are wonderful for photos, for overflow makeup, for crafting items, doesn't matter. These are a great solution. They're very inexpensive. Obviously you can get them for a dollar at most of the dollar stores, but at places like Walmart and Target, they usually have them on sale for something as low as 74 cents a piece. What's great about these is they do stack. Make sure you get one that does snap on though. Some of them just rest on top. So you want to be able to hear the click to make sure that it's going to stay on. One of the stores near me is Daiso, and they have shoe boxes that are smaller. So when I saw these, I bought a ton of them. But you can see the size difference. They're just a little bit smaller. You may have seen my home office and craft room tour. This was a small box. I got salt and pepper shakers and was able to load all of my glitter in it. It's sturdy, it's easy to get into, and when we want to use glitter, we could just take out the color we want, shake it, and put it right back inside. By finding what your needs are first, you can always find a storage solution to match. That is all I have for you today. Hopefully one of these ideas inspired you to get organized. If it did, please click the like button. Also, I'd love to get a comment on something that you found interesting or a way that you've used a container. I do put up new videos every week, so please make sure to click the subscribe button and I will see you next week. Bye.